Once SolidWorks PDM Client is installed on a machine, the next step is to create a local vault view which gives users access to the PDM vault through Windows File Explorer. If you only have a few client machines, then creating the local vault views using the View Setup Wizard should only take a few minutes for each machine. Organizations with many users can save time by automating the creation of local vault views using the View Setup Wizard with special triggers to create a vault view setup file with extension CVS. Once distributed to client machines, users simply double-click the CVS file and the local vault view is created automatically. Before we take a closer look at creating a CVS file, here are a few benefits of using this method. Admins can save time by configuring the CVS file once and then distributing it to multiple clients. Creating local vault views using the CVS file creates consistent local vault views and users do not need to know or enter detailed PDM server information required by the View Setup Wizard. There's also an option to run the file and create the local vault view silently. Let's take a few minutes to learn how to create, modify, and distribute a vault view setup file. A quick note, the example vault used in this video is named Acme. Anywhere you see the name Acme, it will be replaced with your specific vault name. The first step to creating a CVS file is to run the View Setup Wizard with the trigger forward slash A on a machine that does not already have a local vault view for that specific vault. If the machine already has a local vault view, then you will need to delete that local vault view before continuing. Right click the Windows Start icon, then select Run. In the Run dialog, enter the text exactly as it is shown here, including the quotation marks. This text includes the path to the View Setup application. The example text includes the path for the default installation. If your installation is not located in the default location, then replace the path text accordingly. When the View Setup Wizard is run using the trigger forward slash A, the Action column on the Review Actions screen will display Save to File instead of Create Local Vault View, as shown here. Click Finish to launch the Save dialog, and then enter a name and location for the CVS file to save. You are then returned to the View Setup Wizard and the completed screen displays. Now that we know how to create the CVS file, let's take a closer look inside the file before we run it to see how it can be modified to work with a different vault or change the local vault view location. Right click the CVS file and select Open with Notepad. Location is the folder where you want the view to be created, normally the root C drive. View type can be set to shared view or private view, depending on if the view should be available for all users or only the logged in Windows user. The vault view is enclosed in brackets and is case sensitive. The vault ID can be found in the PDM administration tool by right clicking a vault and selecting properties. A quick note here, when copying the vault ID, only include the alphanumeric characters, do not include the brackets. DB name is the vault database name, and it is case sensitive. DB server is a SQL server name. Server LOC is the archive server name. Server port is the archive server port. The default port is 3030. Once the changes have been made, simply save the file to a vault specific name and it's ready to be distributed to clients. The CVS file can be copied to any location on the client machine with the PDM client installed. Double-click the file and the View Setup Wizard will launch to the Review Actions confirmation screen, displaying Action Create Local Vault View and Status Ready. Click Finish to create the local vault view. The user will be prompted to log into PDM to complete the process. Once complete, the View Setup Wizard will display the completed screen and the local vault view is ready to use. The View Setup Wizard and CVS file can be run silently on the client machine by including the path to the CVS file, followed by the trigger forward slash Q as shown in the text example. Don't forget to include the quotation marks. Creating local vault views using this method does not display the View Setup Wizard and there is no confirmation screen. Once the local vault view is created successfully, the user will be prompted to log in using their PDM credentials. The local vault view is now ready to use. Now that you know how to create a local vault view using the CVS file, try it out on a test machine and see if this method will save you time creating local vault views.